Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I have, I have no idea how this worked, but when they said sell, you sold. <laughs> Fine. Finally, in 1837, Samuel Morse got it right. A nice, simple, single wire plus ground design. Uh, this caught on really well all over the world. Here, it was the, the wonder of the age, which you can sort of make out behind the chandelier over there. Uh, telegraphs. The electric fluid travels at 280,000 miles per second, or about one and a half times the speed of light. Maybe they knew something we don't. Uh, traders picked up on telegraphy in a big way. Here we see the, the first cellular phone on the arm of a broker in New York. Uh, and you can really appreciate how successful this was by looking at some before and after photos taken in Lower Manhattan. Here's a street down there by the exchange before telegraphy. Here's what it looked like shortly thereafter. Telegraphy was a really big advance, uh, but to participate in the market as things were happening, you had to know Morse code. You know there's some more technology coming. This time it's the invention of the stock ticker in 1867 by Edward Callahan. The first models were a little bit too delicate for the boisterous New York crowds, so Tom Edison was hired to buff the thing up to Wall Street combat standards. He just kept dropping it out of the second floor window of his lab in Orange, New Jersey and fixing it where it broke until it didn't break anymore. <laughs> this, that's true. He ended up, finally ends up with this design, which you see in all sorts of museums in my friend Ted Aronson's office. Ticket tape, like the roof, hand signals, and telegraph was a huge success. Probably the most important technology in finance up to that time. People saved tapes and studied them. These were the first uh, intraday technical analysis uh, studies. Here's a guy just doing just that, sort of a foreshock of the information explosion we have today. This looks a lot like my office, but neater. Uh, on the floor, there were human quotrons who used to pick up the most recent end of the tape and run back looking for the most recent price quote. And this really wasn't that long ago. Some of you may know Frank Baxter, the chairman of Jeffries. That was his first job on Wall Street. And he's still young enough to manage a rock band and run marathons. There's, it also made for nice parades. Here we see a group of specialists celebrating the one millionth bagging of a buy-side trader. <laughs> Thank you.